What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again. Today, we are diving into prime and composite numbers. This is the second video on our factor playlist. Uh, please check out our video about factors before you watch this if you need a little bit of help, um, because today we are specifically working on the prime and composite numbers. So our objective today, today I will be able to label a number as either being prime or composite. We need to look at our math vocabulary for the lesson today. The first definition we're going to write down is prime number. What is a prime number? A prime number is any number that has only two factors. Okay, So any number that has exactly two factors. That means when you make your factor rainbow, which we learned about last video, there should only be two factors on it. So an example of a prime number would be three, because when I made my factor rainbow for three, the only way I can make three is either one times three or three times one. So there are only two numbers in it. A composite number is any number that has three or more factors. Okay, So any number that has three or more factors. Okay, so an easy example for this would be four. So if I made my factor rainbow for four, I'd have one, two, and four. One times four, four times one, and then two times two, right? So I have three factors that can make four. So four is a composite number. So prime and composite, if you know the definitions, then all you need to do is find the factors of these numbers, and then you can label it as a prime or composite number. So I made a list of these, okay? So we're going to label these as prime or composite. We're going to skip one for now and come back to it. Now, I'm going to make the factor rainbow and just write it down here to save some time. If you're confused about how I found the factors of these numbers, please check out our other video on factors, and that will kind of explain to you how, what a factor is and how we can find it. So my factors for 2, right? The only way I can make it is 1 times 2 or 2 times 1. So 2 is a prime number because it only has two factors, it has exactly two. Three is also a prime number because the only way I can do it is by doing one times three or three times one. So it only has two numbers in its factor rainbow. So three is also a prime number. Four is a composite number because when I made my factor rainbow, I have three digits, right, or three factors for this. And so my definition of a composite number is three or more factors. Now, let's stop for a second and think to ourselves, okay, I know what a prime and composite number are. I know the definitions when you say it, but I kind of mix them up. So how do I remember this? The way I remember prime numbers, okay, prime, primetime television, right? Um, Deion Sanders was primetime. That might be a little bit before you guys' time. Optimus Prime, right? These things are really important, right? And if they're really important, then there's not very many of them. So when I think about prime, I think about the number one. Because if you're prime time, that means you're the best at it, right? And so one and the number are the only factors of it if it is a prime number. That's kind of how I remember it. Composite, the way I remember composite is I know um, a little bit about music, right? I'm kind of into music. We do songs. And if you are composing a song, right? Or if you are a composer of music, you are composing. You are making lots of different instruments work together. Your violins, piano, um, bass. Maybe you might even have a guitar. I don't know what you're composing. But if you are composing, you are doing many different things, right? You're composing. You're bringing together many different instruments. Well, compose and composite have the same root word, right? And so it makes sense to me that if you are a composite, you are a composer of numbers, which means you have many factors that you work with, okay? And you try to bring them together. So just kind of a silly way to help you remember the difference between them. But prime time, right, you're the only one. You're the best at it. So there's not very many of you. So it's just one in the number itself, right? Two factors exactly. Composite, being a composer, working with many different instruments. 
can posit working with many different factors. So now let's look at five, right? So if I make my factor a rainbow for five, I can only do one in five. There's not very many of these, which means they're important, right? It is prime time, right? Six. Six has one, right? One times six and two times three, right? Oh, six, not four. So I know one times six and two times three. There are four factors here, which means that's more than three. This is a composite number because it's working with many different numbers. Seven, when I do my factor rainbow for seven, I only have two factors, which means it is a prime, ooh, changing colors here. This is a prime number because it's very important. There's only two of it. Eight, I have one times eight, two times four and eight. So I have four uh, factors here. So eight would be a composite number. If you wanna pause and try the next couple by yourself, feel free and then push play and you can check it. I know nine, okay, has three factors in its factor rainbow. That's three or more. So this is a composite number because it's working with many different factors like a composer would. 10, now, now that we're kind of understanding the difference between a prime and composite number, here's a little shortcut. Every even number other than two has to be a composite number because if it's even, it can go one times itself, but two is also a factor of it because it's divisible by two with no remainder. So any even number other than two has to be a composite number. 11, 11 is a prime number because it only has two factors, right? It's very important. There's only two of them. And then 21. So you're getting into bigger numbers. If you're confused about how to make the factor tree, again, please watch our factor video that um, you should have watched before this. But if not, right, you can do one times 21 and you can do three times seven. So your factor rainbow again has four. That's three or more, which makes this a composite number, okay? Now, all of these only had four factors, but it, if, if you're looking at a really big number, like a thousand, there are lots of different ways to make a thousand. I'm not going to make a factor rainbow for it, but there's definitely more than four. It has more than four factors. If you have 10 factors, you're still a composite number, right? Composite numbers are three or more. So let's go back up to one because this is a special little number. So we said a prime number, right, has exactly two factors. It's very important. We said a composite number has three or more, like a composer, many different instruments, many different factors. Well, one only has one factor, one times itself, which is funny because it's neither prime nor composite. It doesn't meet the definition for either one. It doesn't have exactly two factors, so it can't be prime, and it doesn't have three or more, which means it can't be composite. So one is its little special case, a little special number. So these are a look at our uh, uh, the first couple numbers on your number line and whether or not they're prime or composite. Hopefully this has helped you out. Maybe you learned a little silly way to remember what the difference between prime or composite. Thank you so much for checking us out. Please check out our other videos at Instruct the Beats Official. You can follow us at Instagram at, at Instruct the Beats. We really appreciate your time. Please subscribe. Instruct the Beats out.